greetings once again in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, thank you for continuing to tag along with us as we uh, bring to you the testimony of Taltalagase Chochi Vakatawa Lindua looking after the zone of Kinoya and uh, we'll uh, ask him to continue with his uh, testimonies uh, when he went through the examination Fiji uh, school living uh, Fiji living school certificate uh, back in uh, in uh, New South Methodist School. Okay. Praise the Lord. I passed my my form six uh, that year, but I cannot continue with my education uh, because my grandmother cannot afford uh, to pay for all my fees or to do furthermore. So I stayed in the village. I started to drink brew home brew. Uh, smoking just a little bit, uh, marijuana just a little bit, and I've started to enjoy uh, staying in the village. I'm the only, the only one, the village at that time, who doesn't drink up for, for the youth. But because of all my friends, all my brothers and sisters, all my cousins were doing it, so I have to. In order to join the fun, then I have to join the gang. So, and I'm continuing from that my village, and then I went to start my small farm. I remember I plant 200 uh, Yangona plants. I started my farm, my Ndalo uh, plantation, and uh, one day, I joined uh, a group, went for drinking home brew. When I came back, I was fully drunk. And there was a conflict uh, between me and one of my cousins. Uh, we were both injured, and it, it took two days, that conflict, because it involves families and uh, relatives. It's not a small one, it's a, it's a big conflict. I was badly hurt too, and uh, when I get well, my grandmother decided to send me over to Suba. So we go back to the accident in the village. Eh? So the whole village get involved too. The whole village, uh, the relatives or the families of that. Uh, both my, sides, you and your sides. enemy. Yes. Okay, and uh, there are sometimes they have uh, like a gang fight or buturaki or. It's just on a one-to-one -one basis from here and there. Uh, my village is one of the worst villages in my island. And they knew it. Those who came for Christmas, their first time in my village, they will never come back. And uh, uh, it's not uh, this one-to-one, this uh, grouping, and uh, it's not easy. Yeah. And uh, uh, for that uh, moment, for that conflict, it took two days. So those two days, uh, people just come up, fight, they go back, and then somebody start again. Yes. So for two days, the fight continue here and there. Two days. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the mothers, the women, because of their children. And it's something happened from before. It's just like it's a repeating of what is happening before. So for those of you watching, uh, these are the typical village style of, uh, of, uh, of life uh, where people take side and nobody want to lose and nobody want to uh, back down because of pride and because of arrogance. So these kind of things uh, happen in not only in the village of Ndeketi in Gambia, but I believe uh, right across our nation because the spirit is in control. So it is a lesson to us that we are are watching today that most of the time uh, we are sucking to some situation conflicts and disagreement because we are we are not prepared uh, spiritually the Bible says you are not fighting against flesh and blood you are fighting against principalities and powers okay? uh, the, the, the ruler of darkness of this world and uh, uh, fallen angels uh, in in the heavens so we have a lot to deal with and if we are not spiritually uh, prepared or spiritually matured, uh, most of this fighting will continue to go on. And uh, one small fight will bring back the memories of uh, 
uh, fighting uh, years back or months back. And that's why sometimes big injuries. Lebuna mate, lebuna mavori, lebu mavombimbi. But na yalo, I thought I took in an alumni, a buturaki, and I'll be about Mavotaki. Yalo tha, na yalo nana, na yalo mayeli, na yalo mayimbulu. And if we are not careful, uh, this thing control our society. And that's why sometimes anger, fighting, unforgiveness, resentment continue to move in our life because we are not ready to forgive people that they wrong to us. And we can only forgive if we have Christ in us. Yeah. Christ in us is the spirit that brings humbleness, humility, and forgiveness. So uh, that is the story of what happened in Talgas Church's village. So then, then what happened? When you got injured? I got injured. My grandfather, grandmother took me back home. Uh, after that week, I remember that that fighting started on uh, Friday morning. And it continues till Saturday, uh, mid-Saturday. Uh, then because we were both injured, so that's, it's like, uh, it solved everything. When uh, yes. they brought me, brought this guy, and then we call it Pasap Sava. Okay. And uh, so that's it. Uh, I went back home. My the mark is still here on, on me. And uh, my grandmother decided that time to send me over to Shuva. Because she was afraid might uh, something else might happen uh, after that. So that's the reason why I came to Shuva. Okay, when you when you're planning to come into Suba, uh, what what is your what is your feelings? What what do you think or what do you anticipate when you are coming in the boat? Praise the Lord. First, I can leave them. I still uh, I don't want to leave my grandfather because I lose my uh, my grandmother because I lose my grandfather and. When I came to Shiva, the only thing that uh, came with me, my grandfather and my grandmother told me, you go and try to uh, seek for further education. I don't know how. She said, try to have your own living. And when you do, then you remember, remember us. So when I came to Shiva, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go to. The only thing I have in mind to have a life in Shuba. I don't know how will I get it, but just, just go with the flow. First thing, I will go to Shuba. In Shuba, then I'll try if I can continue with my education or I have to start somewhere. So when I came in the boat, I cannot sleep that night. And from Tabiuni to Shuba, uh, we came to Sapsabu and to Koro and came to Shuba. It's a whole night travel. And uh, the very next morning, we came here. Uh, we arrived in the Narend Jetty. So the only person I knew in Shuba was my uncle. He used to stay in uh, Palimanmanu, no Lubatu, somewhere in the uh, uh, Samambula, Tamabua, up there. So I came. We ha I haven't, the only last time I met this uncle, when I was three years of age, I no, when uh, he came over for my grandfather's uh, funeral. funeral, that was in 1996, and I'm talking, I'm sharing now, 2001. So I came uh, to Baliman Manu, and I don't know, I haven't met uh, my auntie. And that was, uh, that was the first time you come to Shuba? Uh, maybe the second time. Second time, okay. So when I came to Baliman Manu, I don't know about uh, my auntie. Will she receive me? I haven't known her personally. So when I came to their house, somebody showed me the house. So I came there. My uncle was not there. She was, uh, he was out in the sea because he's walking in a fishing boat. Only uh, my auntie was there. So I look at the, at the photos, the pictures on the walls. Then I confirm this is uh, my uncle's house so i said bula uh, i just saw a woman i didn't know that it was my she was my auntie 
she turned to me she asked me uh, where i came from who i am so i explained about me then uh, she hugged me she welcomed me and i thank god for positioning uh, her life because if she didn't uh, receive me i don't know where else to go so i've stayed and they haven't got any children so i'm the only child uh, in that family uh, that very evening my my uncle came back from work and then we met then he bought cartons of beers and time for celebration because it was a long time then uh, we met each other again so i stayed there till uh, uh, 2001 uh, maybe before the end of 2001 and uh, it was an uh, invitation from my auntie i remember that day i was alone at home and i remember my grandmother told me go to suva try to have a education try to have a work but now i'm in suva few months passed away i haven't received any work i don't know whether i can continue with my education i was in the room and i saw this a bible on top of the shelf old bible the cover was missing and in my heart i remember this is what i said in my heart maybe only jesus can do something for me and i remember that moment my prayer in 1998 back in the dormitories in the new south Methodist high school that god showed me that he exists then uh, i just get out from where i was have my bath then i went to town i don't know what i was going to do in town i just went to town where i met another lady we were related and she invited me for a youth camp a weekend youth camp in Namaka Public in Nandi. And I thought they were in the Methodist Church. I never knew it was starting, the starting of the new Methodist, the groundwork, before it was registered in 2002. I quickly say yes because I thought it was a MYF camping. I never knew that it was the beginning of the new Methodist. So we went to a house in Nabi Wakao, and uh, then we came to the state uh, that night because of their last meeting uh, they have to confirm all the arrangement that already have done before they travel down uh, the very next morning when when you came to suba uh, there was not even a sight of a, a job that will come your way no even a sight of job so to go back to school like nobody is willing to to uh, help you to further your education yes so roughly how many months before you were invited to this uh, youth camp how many months you stay in uh, Nolubatu? you were seven seven to eight months seven to eight months so those seven to eight months normally you go down to suva went down to suva i i joined the group in the Nolubatu valimon manu uh, the youth group and uh, my uh, my uncle because he's a fisherman, when he arrives in Shiva, the only thing he do is drink, drink. nightclubs. So there's a lot of uh, people coming to him when he comes back from yes from uh, normally one week, two weeks in the sea. Yes. Yeah. So that is the super life that you were introduced to. Yes. Before that invitation. Before that invitation. So I never knew any nightclub. Within that seven months, I knew all the nightclubs in Suba. Praise the Lord. So you were invited to this uh, youth uh, camp in uh, Namaka. Yeah. I was invited with, uh, with, my, with the, my auntie. So I quickly say yes. When we came to the state theater that night, and I saw the drums, the lead guitar, the bass guitar, because it was a state a theater, I thought, oh, maybe it's, uh, it's for another church. I never knew that it is for this church, the New Methodist Christian Fellowship. And the very morning, when we were in the bus, I was sitting right at the back seat. 
And uh, on our way to Namaka Public in Nandi, they started to sing uh, chorus, choruses. Choruses. Which was very new to you. Very new to me. And uh, they were clapping their hands. I was sitting at the back and started to think, uh, is this, they are still in the Methodist church or this is another church? And I'm culture shock. And I saw how the, the youths, the Sunday schools, they all knew the chorus. And they said, I'm, I'm new. I was sitting there, I don't know what to do. But uh, there came a time when they sing Polo to. I can identify myself, praise the Lord. So it's like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay when they sing Polo to. Then uh, Polo to like, Yade uh, Chisu Sakayanga. Some Polo to from the Sierra Levu. Praise the Lord. So we continue. But when they sing chorus, it's You're like lost. I'm I'm lost. Yeah. So you arrived to Namaka. There were a lot of uh, young people too when you arrived in Namaka. We arrived at night, and uh, it was they are already conducting the evening uh, devotion. Devotion. And uh, it's uh, it was timing for it was time for praising, and I saw the young people how they praise. They lift up their hands, and uh, I'm afraid. I can uh, where I was get, uh, where I was we will get off uh, on that uh, bus stop when they went inside the gate I cannot go inside the gate I just remain outside because I saw the praising and I was afraid I know uh, it's I a different church. it's a different church and yeah. ladies and gentlemen uh, brothers and sisters this is a lesson to us eh, that most of the time when we are not exposed uh, to to various teaching various doctrine and uh, church um, cultures, then uh, we will be very tunnel vision. We will be very uh, um, like we are unschooled in terms of uh, uh, knowing how to please God, how to serve God, how to worship God, because we are limited. And that is a big lesson to parents that uh, you are here today that you need to have an open-minded because your children are living in the world that the moving is very fast. is traveling at roughly 100 kilometers an hour. So if we don't educate our children, if we don't allow our children to expose to, to various good things, then they will be stuck in a, like a, in a dark room, in a dark corner, just like Tartalagas Jyoti. I think he was stuck there in Namaka Public School, and he can come back to Suba because uh, it's at night, and he's new in Nandi, and I believe that's the first, that's the first time, first time, that's the first time that he arrives in Nandi, and Nandi, uh, Namaka is just beside the runway, and it's very new. Why? Because he was brought up in a, in a, in a, an environment, which which was uh, very limited for him to know more about other churches. So parents, uh, adults and uh, church people that you are listening and watching this testimony you must always train you and train those around you to have an open mind when you see things new things or old things something that is so different we must always have an open mind because if not we are sending a signal of culture shock or if not there is a spirit of fear that we send to the people especially our children, people around us. And I continue to you on that night. So and it was the first night, first time I saw Ngasilevu and uh, uh, Auntie Rai, uh, Pastor Rachel, Polowano, and the children. It was the very first, the very night, first time I, I saw them. And uh, after the devotion, uh, the dinner was ready. And my auntie, the one who invited me, they started to look for me. And uh, they were surprised to show me I'm still in the bus stop. So okay. they called me in. And there was this uh, young man called Nada in Malawi. And he's the only one I know from Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday night. Hallelujah. And he's the very one who... share his blanket because I didn't bring any bedding with me. 
I have no camping gears, just my clothes. Uh, to those who know Nava, I do not explain uh, about him. Uh, but and uh, that night I didn't know that uh, he was that Nava, and uh, he's the very one who went to his auntie, brought our dinner, and uh, I hang around with him uh, during that uh, that camp. And it was the very last day of the camp that was on Sunday. Then I realized that my friend, hallelujah, he's not normal uh, like me. Even though I am who I am now, but every time I saw this young man, I remember that moment. And it was something in me. That's why, why I'm so close, I'm very serious to see if there's any new souls coming to this church. Because I was a new soul that day. And nobody knows that I will be a senior pastor. But this young man, because of his life, he just came in. Hey, hello. Uh, you come from Suba? Yes, I come from Suba. Uh, oh, you come from one bus. You people, uh, uh, these are very good numbers. And it's like we've known each other. Uh, this Nada. So he showed me around the building. He said, This is who uh, that is. They, he mentioned to me all the names of the young ladies and the young men, all the passes. He, he, he took me to his auntie. We say can, uh, I say can with uh, his auntie because of his uh, friendship. He's so friendly to me, but I didn't know that my brother is not normal like me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before we come again to the last episode of uh, Talgas Church's testimony, it's a big lesson to us churches, uh, especially New Methodists that you are watching, and those of you that belong to other churches. From time to time, or nearly every Sunday, there will be a new soul come coming to your church. Be careful. Might, that might a, a new member to your church. And uh, it's very important how we treat somebody new to our church. Make sure, st stop and say hello.